So we're gonna learn a little, very little bit of Inuktitut today. So here are all the different dialects. When I was talking yesterday, there's <coughs> over 10 different dialects. Well, these are the regions and the type of dialects there are. And we're gonna be mainly talking about the dialect out of this region here. So does, what, does, what do people know about Inuktitut? It's not Latin based. Thank you, there we go, all right. So it can be transmitted to two ways. Roman orthography, which is the alphabet that we all know and read, and also in syllabics, which are the sheets that you all have in front of you that look like that. So it's important to know that Inuktitut is phonetic, right? It's an oral language. It relies a lot on seeing and hearing and knowing the context of what we're speaking of. Um, meanings also conveyed non-verbally too. How many of you have seen me or other people go like this? That's also yes, I understand. My, eyes, my eyebrows go up and I breathe in sharply like, yeah. And if I don't like something, just subtle little scrunches of the nose, all right? So there's a high importance on context too because sometimes saying one word or one phrase in one particular context will mean different from another. So it's really important to know the whole story around what you're talking about. So what can people tell me what they notice about the syllabics in front of them? Hi? There's letters missing. You don't need all those extra letters. You don't need all those extra vowels. Are you sure? We have e, u, a. Those are the vowels. If we have a name, someone give me a name. We could have Shay. Yeah. Shay? Yeah. Okay. You could do that a couple ways. There's not really an H in this dialect, but you could do sa, e, right? Shy. It's how it sounds, right? Elisipi, who we just heard. Her, her, her name in English would be Elizabeth. So, um, McKenna. Ma, you could do a couple ways, it, how you want to hear it, right? You could do ma, ki, na. That's how everybody says my name. Ma, ki, na. Yeah. How would you say Casey? Casey. <coughs> you could do, let's see, ka, e, si. That works. So it kind of manipulates a little bit. Tara Lee? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, ta? Who can find the ra? Ra. Ri. Ra. And li. So you actually have three syllables. It's a little quicker. To do that. You all have a chance to, on your worksheets, we're going to have out, you're going to be able to try your own name there, okay? But you might also all see from the Slavics, they're all the same, but they just move around a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. These two columns are actually a mirror image of each other. And these ones kind of stand up on end there. So there's something called syllabic symmetry, and that's how we can <coughs> rotate all the different syllabics. And, you know, some people say that it's directions, and the I, Pi, Tai are usually used in the Nunavik dialect. So we don't usually use them in Nunavut. It's kind of petering out a little bit. Or I'm lying, am I lying? I'm probably lying, don't, don't listen to that. We're trying to revive it. <laughs> so these are all the different syllabics and how they, diff they rotate differently for each letter. And we also, you might see here, we got little ones. So if you want S all alone, it's just a little, little tiny one, it kind of sits up, up higher on the, on the word. So, there's three kinds of vowels in Inuktitut. There's e, u, a. There's not i or a or uh sounds, not really. You can try and put two together like a and i for an i sound, but it's not in one whole vowel. K's are a high sound in the mouth. And Q's are low and more in the throat. So everyone say k, and k, 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 right? <laughs> so it's further down in your throat. So everyone try, everyone try this. E kalui, e kalui, and e kalui. E kalui. 
So it's Iqaluit. Some people try and, you know, if you can't do the really well, some people try and turn into a sound, like a Iqaluit. That's also a kind of a little cheat there. So consonants are not really heard a lot. They're very soft, unless you have two consonants together. So if they're two layers together, that means they're stressed. So in syllabics, for the vowel, there's a little dot. So the dot is used over syllabic if you want to lengthen the vowel. The name Natalie, it could be Natalie, or you could say like Natalie, or you say, hey, Natalie. You know, it depends on how you say it. Can I have three volunteers? Come on up, and I want you, you, and one more. Come on up. Can I bring the sheet? No, no, we have markers here. I, oh, What's I your name? Keegan. Keegan, I want you to, tr want you to try writing in syllabics this version. There's a, another syllabic sheet behind you if you want. Okay. And Tara Lee, Tara Lee can, you, can you write over here, try and write Natalie? Okay. And afterwards, you want to try Natalie. So try writing in syllabics the na. So I just write normally. Ta li, in syllabics, yeah. The three syllables. Nat. Natalie. Oh, okay. And you're trying Natalie. Remember to use the dot if you have to. What's the dot? The dot is over your vowel here. So you put that over the li or the na. Na. However big you think you should be. Okay. That's great. We're going to have races and games afterwards, so pay attention to how this is going on. That's correct. So Natalie has a big dot over the na, so you hold that A sound, so it's Natalie. That's great, too. Sometimes we put the dot right in the middle, but that works as well. So it would be Natalie. To tell you, though, sometimes we add the small syllabic for a consonant. Remember the little the row of the smaller ones? So I need three different volunteers. Come on up. Yeah. One more. Oh, come on. One more. I'll go. Thank you. I want you to try and write Ottawa. However you hear it, write Ottawa. And you can write, try Ticketmaster. <laughs> and you're going to try iPod. Be sharing the board? Yep. Just, uh, you want to do a new sheet? Here, do a sheet. So what do you do if you don't have a letter that you need? What do you think a B would be? If you heard a B sound, what do you think it would be on the Slavic chart? P. P? And W's might be V's maybe? So Ottawa might be Ottawa. How do you like to say Ottawa? I put a C into the A for the R. This is the A all alone. So it would be a triangle. Ah. Uh, or the, the, sorry, the T. Okay, but where would the ah be? So we need the little ah here. <laughs> How do you say wa? Try v. Va. Atava. <laughs> <laughs> that holds it. That holds it a long time though. Don't worry. It's a good atava. So, how many people think this is right? She wrote the word Ottawa. Can everyone see it? <laughs> that first one an A. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to 
make an er. <laughs> if you had an R all alone. So I like this. This could be Ottawa. <coughs> or some people might say it like Ottawa, right? Ah, uh, Tava. Whoops. Va. Or you might want to really hold the t. So Ottawa. A, ta, va. So really, it really depends on how you like to say it, and it might depend on how your community as a whole says something. That you'll get a common way that you'll write the same word. How can I do the D? Maybe a T would work. I thought. Yeah, just high up a little. C. Yeah. So over here we have Ticketmaster. T, kit, mas, ta. Okay. I would make the T A a little bigger, right? It's not just a little T. We have to hear the ah part of Ticketmaster. Ta. <laughs> and we try maybe keep this up a little bit higher. So we would do a a higher key. And I like this. Well, this is e pot. You could also maybe try a e pot. So i pot. So we get that i sound again. So the structure of a nuktitu, when you do a word, you might capture almost an entire sentence in one word. And it's backwards. So we have our verb. Then what you want to do, if you want to have it, if you don't have it, if you can do it, if you can't do it, that kind of desire. Your time, if it's in the past or in the future. And then who's talking? Is it me? Is it you? Is it them over there? So we have the verb pisuk, which means walk. And tunga is a pronoun for I. So I walk is pisuk tunga. If we want to say I want to walk, we have a little infix here. And this infix is guma. So we drop the K because it rolls off the tongue better. If you do pisuk guma, you kind of stop in the middle. So, but if you say pisuk guma, it kind of flows together. So I want to walk becomes pisuk guma yunga. Everyone try that. Great. Okay, I want to walk, but I want to walk later. I want to walk soon, maybe. Pisa guma nyaktunga. Try it. Pisa guma nyaktunga. So we drop that letter. We drop that consonant because it's easier on the ears. It flows better if you want to talk quicker. You gotta drop some of these, some of these letters. So the endings on consonants, verbs, may require you to drop the letter. So, ukalauktunga is you will want to speak, or you spoke in the past. Lauk. I'm still learning. I'm. This is my eight month, six month of learning in Ukitu, but I think I'm getting a pretty good grasp on it. And it's not that hard once you get into it, because once you know the syllabics chart, it's a lot easier to try and figure out things phonetically, because it's all by your ear, and you actually can trust your ear better than you can trust your eyes. <laughs>